sup, sup, sup. My name is Ray Ford, the user council. Welcome to Coffee Time, your Monday morning discussion video released in the evening because I lose track of time, lack of sleep, and about 40 other excuses that I'm probably going to pull out of my butt. Anyway, welcome back, as always, to your Monday evening discussion video series called Coffee Time of All Fucking Things. Uh, we're using a new audio device. If you hear the water splashing, the scratching, I brought the turtle with me. The turtle, turtle. And she's looking for freaking food right now. So you're probably going to hear me throw some food in there so she chills out. But today we're going to be talking about OCG versus TCG. The communities, just the card design, everything. Every little thing you can mention in one of these videos, we're probably going to be throwing it down because, you know, them clickbait titles that people like to claim. Nah, it's all good. We ain't doing clickbait shit, okay? We ain't. But before we go into that whole mess of conundrums of things let's run down a quick little update for you guys in my hands is a new device that we're using to record all the audio for pretty much every major thing that we need to record with and it picks up from about i want to say uh about five new york city blocks down every which direction to put it in perspective, that would probably be close around the football field every which way, about, I want to say 50 feet down, maybe further than that. You can probably hear the storm outside, you know, the wind blowing through the little crack of the window that you normally wouldn't hear because this thing picks it up so damn well. So, um, besides that, for the Ryu Avalon Gaming, I've been talking about that a lot lately, my apologies, and Super Council Gaming. We got the Elgato capture card in. Testing went extremely well over the past two days. And E3 is coming up, so I didn't get tons of time to work on deck profiles as much as I wanted to. But don't fret, the Kaiju Grade L are coming this week. ABC, I'll probably try to get out next week. If not, expect more one shots and more IRL dual videos to kind of just hold you guys over while I work on it. Because I don't want to ever like leave you for a few days without content. I am so sorry about that. It's just shit has been hectic as fuck. And uh, otherwise, not, everything's been okay. It's been okay. There's been a lot of like behind the scenes stuff for you know a future project that I've been teasing on Facebook for the past year. So fingers crossed, it all goes well. Um, with that all out of the way, we're going to be talking about the pros, we're going to be talking about the cons, we're going to be talking about every little thing of the TCG, of the OCG, and I'm not going to bundle Europe for the fifth time, I'm not going to bundle Europe inside with America and call it TCG as one package, it's two separate beasts. So let's get into the American side of the TCG, the things I like. I like the sneak peeks, I like the tournaments when I enjoy the meta, which is actually more often than people think it is. I like the fact that, you know, people can make Yu-Gi-Oh jokes and it's funny. Like, I, I can't even think one off the top of my head. I'm not going to force one because that would be a, a forceful century <laughs> of a joke. Okay, that was really shitty. I'm sorry. I, I'm trying here. I'm trying. I'm exhausted. Um, I like the sneak peeks. I like, I like Ultra Pro sleeves. I know that's not really, like, a thing for the TCG. I know I keep saying, like, it's me. I would rip my own tongue out every time I say the word like. Um, it's just one of those things I enjoy. There's a better there's a better way of doing it. Um, every time I say um and like, I just want to cut my fucking cords out of my throat. Anyways, there's not too much I could really say definitively I like from the... It, I like from the TCG. Oh my god, I did it again. I enjoy it from the TCG side. I'm trying to stop that because that's that's terrible to keep saying the word like. There's not too much I enjoy from the TCG side, to be completely honest. Um, and that's mainly because the player base can be really toxic. And it just poisons the environment. You know, in the TCG side, you can't get creative. In the OCG side, it could be... A nutty looking deck and no one's gonna glance twice as long as it works and they'll ask you well how does this work not yo your deck sucks balls because fucking i said so you know when i don't also enjoy the fact that people think Yu Gi Oh is just a kid's game it was designed back in the day to be a kid's game now it's more 
let's put it up to around 13 or 15 to 20 to 25 for my age or higher. I've seen guys way older than me still playing this game because the, the mechanics of the game have gone so much further than anyone could have ever expected. Let's be honest. It's damn true. Thank you, Pendulums, for that. Uh, thank you, Exceeds, for that. Thank you, Synchros, for that. <laughs> Synchros are adding and Exceeds are subtracting. <laughs> Ryu, we're putting math in there. I don't enjoy Konami of America. I Not one fucking bit do I enjoy them. I'm sorry. It's the goddamn truth. When they, when they sit there and they basically make articles trying to defend their points of why this is not being released at this time, like the DVD deck, it's a really dumb decision when you could just put two decks out and people will buy the one they want. I want the Felgram deck. I don't really want the DDD deck, to be honest. I'm not going to be playing the Felgram cards. I just want the Gospel of Revivals, and it's going to be cheaper that way anyways. And that way I get to open it for you guys. I buy a DDD deck so I can open it and show it to you guys and be like, yeah, this is what I thought of it. It's pretty cool, and this is everything you get in. You know, It's basically everything I've done to keep content fresh and whatnot. I don't enjoy, you know, having Konami of America try to, like, do YouTube videos and leave off comments and likes and dislikes. You're, you're basically, I had to use like there, you're basically shutting down, you know, what is probably the greatest and yet worst design of YouTube, which is social media. And there's a reason I say that. It's just my stance on it. But... You're not taking that free fucking feedback from the players. You're not listening to them. You're just la 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 la. You're putting your fucking ear, like your hands in your ears, like a little kid, not hearing someone else and just wanting to hear your fucking self. I will say this much: I do like TCG exclusives. I do enjoy them very much. Kaiju's probably being the most enjoyable for me at the moment. Go ahead, hate on me. Don't care. Didn't care for Cosmos. Thought they were cool at first, until I saw it. All they did was swing, run, swing, run, switch, swing, run, switch. They're pretty much like Gladiator Beasts and Ying Zing had a baby, but design-wise, with Zervaz and Star Wars, which clever, clever, clever ties in with A Force Awakens. But you're lucky Disney doesn't sue you. But again, different topic for a different day. Um, fair use, fair use, <laughs> fair use, Konami. <laughs> Fair use. We'll give you that much. Uh, my whole thing about like not enjoying Konami and TCG Land is mainly because they don't listen to people on social media. And yes, I'll I'll give you and I'll grant you the knowledge that the TCG player base, American side, can be very vulgar, very toxic when they don't get their way or they don't agree with you. I see it on a goddamn daily basis. If it's not on my channel, or it's not on someone else's channel I follow, it's on some random person's channel, and there's really no reason to, unless the kid is like with a shaky camera and sounds like absolute trash, and then you just try to be polite about it. You know what I mean? Um, my whole thing is, it, that's just my stance on it, to be fair. So, I had to stop myself there for a second, because I was going to say some shit I didn't want to say. Um... Like, TCG side feels very much you can't play the game and you pretty much have to work your way out of locks, monarchs, cosmos, uh, phantom knights. That's how it feels to me, guys. This is how it is. Like, if I go and I play blue eyes, my deck can't be good enough because I can't run brilliant fusion in before someone tells me you can. I'm well aware I could, but it's not going to improve the power of my deck to be fair. Even though the general consensus is different than that and tech cards are not okay and they're shunned down by and probably tech tuesday being the example of one of the lowest like viewed rated series that we've had on the channel i still do it because i know people like it i still do it because i fucking enjoy it but that's besides the point it's just one of those things that's like if your deck's not cookie cutter made of the same mold and you look a little bit different, they hate you. But let's talk about the European players. And I know this doesn't go for every single European player. Relax. Most of the European players, probably the 99.9% .9 that I've talked to and 
dueled against on YGO Pro, whether I won or lost, were probably the most relaxed and enjoyable duels and people I ever really had a Yu-Gi-Oh experience with. Now, there's some people that I'll talk to, like at KT Collectibles, Woodside, New York. There you go. Go support that store if you want to see me, I guess. I, I'm not... I'm not special. Um, <laughs> besides the point, uh, Europe, like European players from what I've experienced, I think it's just the culture. You know, America is more vulgar, more toxic, and Europe is just a lot more sarcasm. And I know not everyone's like sarcastic like that, but the way, like w when you make a joke and in American, it's offense, offense immediately. Everyone's getting offended by shit. And I know it's kind of funny and ironic coming off that way I just said about cancer and autism, but it kind of hits at home. Um, I think with Europeans, it's more, you know, it, it becomes a sarcastic thing that you kind of just like laugh it off and it's just different. But I, I, I want to say that the pros for the European players are they're just generally nicer and more enjoyable to talk to. They don't. They're not like dim-witted idiots. I'm sorry, not everyone is, but there's certain like American Yu-Gi-Oh players that just get really, really toxic and want to hate on everything. And I don't mean to sound like I hate on everything. It's the Italian in me that I just have this overtone speaking voice that always sounds like I'm angry, which is kind of weird, but it's true. I always sound like I'm fucking angry. Um, not the case in point, <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is. Someone just almost had a car accident there. I'm laughing, uh, laughing awkwardly. What I'm trying to say is like, I know it's not the standard for everyone. I would say my only negative towards European player base would probably be what Konami does to them. Because I think it's an injustice that something so simple that could just be printed out there and le you know legalized for a trading card game doesn't. That's probably my only con. And again, I don't really have too many you know things. It's more... The American side, because the American side is like, fuck you, man, you suck dick. And it's like, what? <laughs> what are we fighting over? <laughs> it's a fucking card game. Calm yourself. <laughs> you know, people make mistakes. People are not going to, like, agree with you all the time. Looking glass. So I'll talk about the pros, I'll talk about the cons. So the pros, right off the bat. Um, would probably be it's a more relaxed environment. I think how I always looked at trading card games, which is like, you're coming off of work or you're coming off a, you know, like in my case, a recording session and shit. And you just, you want to, you want to just chill. You know, you play a game to play a fucking game to relax. Not to get all pissed off. Why the fuck did I lose? Fuck this game. Flip table. You know, fat nerd thing. You know, you don't want that. And like with Japan, it's just more relax. Everyone gets a good laugh. You can do a lot of creative decks. You can get a lot of tech in there. And people won't judge you who are not, you know, outside of Japan. Because I've seen what the TCG players say to them. Just saying. I've seen it. Um, besides the point. Yeah, I, honestly, I think it's just a lot. I don't like the OCG packs. Let me put it that way. I don't like it. I gotta be honest. Let me start with the negative stuff. It's easier. I don't like the OCG packs because the OCG packs come with a lot less cards. I don't like what they did with the DT machines. OCG didn't have hidden arsenal. Japan never got it. And the only way to get those cards were through the DT machines. And it drove me fucking insane during the time. You know, because I wasn't like really playing TCG, which it was driving me fucking nuts, to say the least. Um, probably the. No, no, that doesn't. That doesn't count to Yu Gi Oh! I would say, yeah, the, the DT stuff. Some of the ban list decisions, not too many, but just some of them have killed my favorite decks, even in OCG. And some of them are just kind of dumb, to be fair. I think there's a lot more positives for the OCG. I just haven't talked about it. Like, the anime is better because it sounds better. It doesn't sound as goofy. Like, Jack Atlas doesn't have a European voice or British voice. No, no offense, my friends. No offense at all. I don't mean to sound so fucking judgmental like a piece of shit, but I'm kind of sounding like a piece of shit right now. So you have my apologies, my friends from across the sea. You have my apologies for that. Um, 
You can leave me a dislike. <laughs> no, don't do that. Uh, more importantly, what I'm trying to say is like with the OCG, it's a lot more laid back. You basically have smaller locals, which for me, that's better. For some people, they like bigger events. I have this kind of, not, not disorder, but like PTSD where it just triggers when people are, there's too many people in a room near me. I just, I freak out. I don't like being around that. I like being my tight knit group. And when I'm in OCG, it's a lot more comfortable for me to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I don't hear people screaming across the room. I think that one IRL duel video that me and Mikey cut in Flushing, New York, was so ridiculously fucking loud. It was louder there than you were hearing it if you go back and watch it. Because guys were screaming over a card game like... So they were screaming over something, and all I remember is like thinking to myself, why the fuck am I not cutting out the the audio? Because even like where we actually film, which doesn't have tables, and she just like mad cool with us and lets us do our thing there. Thank you, Kathy. You know, it's just like uh, it's a lot more laid back and relaxed, and that's why I always try to get across the videos. But some people just don't understand it. It's like, I come from the Okinawan side, which is very laid back. You know, you work hard and you just, you enjoy your time that you're not working. And YouTube has become a job to a degree for me. To a degree, because not primary source, but to a degree. And it's just been, it's been a nutty ride. But what I'm trying to say is like, in, as a whole, for the whole thing, is just OCG feels a lot more... Like at home more comfortable maybe just for me for you guys it may be completely different I mean it sucks having a wait so long get TCG like imports in I don't like that OCG and TCG have their own separate things I know I just said I like TCG um, exclusives I like what they do with them I don't like that they're exclusive you know I kind of feel it's like one of those things that TCG and OCG need to come together and like hold each other's hand and be like, you know what, we're going to work together. We're not just going to be across the sea. I know how difficult that is. Please, I understand how difficult that is to do. Um, I also hate, for the TCG side, I also hate, I know this is a minor thing, that we never get the fucking Yu-Gi-Oh games that Japan gets. Like right now I can go and go get fucking Japanese games that are all Yu-Gi-Oh based that we'll never see in the US or I don't even think in Europe. I don't even think they have it. But it's one of those things that's like... There's a stereotypical Japanese player and a stereotypical American player. And the American player is usually that like chubby-wubby guy who overly, you know, stinks and talks about Yu-Gi-Oh! And the, I guess the stereotypical Japanese player would be the more casual... Um, has the 1990s American look because it's a big thing in Okinawa right now. God help us. I'm sorry. It's just true. And, um, yeah, I mean, it, it depends. It depends on the person. You can't really judge people like that. I was just trying to bring it into a spectrum where you guys would understand that. The, the, the message of the day is, like, no matter whether you like TCG or you like OCG or you just think it's crazy, like, TCG's ban list is more... Okay, both ban lists suck dick. All right? Let's put it this way. Both ban lists motherfucking suck dick. OCG has a habit of doing random hits for the decks that they want to hit. And it's like kind of crazy. It's, it's harder to pick that deck back up. As where TCG, it takes longer to get those hits. But when they do it, the structuring is better. Because at least your deck can still compete as a tier 2. So you kind of get like this day and night. I, I'm about to make a Pokemon Sun and Moon reference here. You get this like Sun and Moon experience that is so out there it makes no sense. But it is what it is. I love both sides. I love the ability. I wish I could bring it to every one of you. To be able to be like, here's OCG. Here's TCG. Try the other side. See how crazy it is. And maybe then you'll see things a little bit differently. But you can't change the world. So hopefully you guys liked the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the conversation piece. That is that it's going to be a debate either which way. And uh... Yeah, soon enough you'll get a bandless video from me. Ooh, bandless video. And I'll see you guys on the next one as always. Thanks for watching. You can check me out on the other four channels. That's Super Council Gaming, Re-Ravlon Gaming, The Council Network, and The Pokemon Council. 
I don't expect you to remember all those. That's why I always put them in the description for you because I love you guys. You can also follow me on Twitter or Facebook. I don't really like Facebook. Why we're talking about things I don't like. I really don't like Facebook because they want money to get posts out like more. So basically if I had a, a Facebook with like 60,000 people, maybe tops 60 to 600 people would see my post. And I really think that's stupid. But again... I digress. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for Tech Tuesday. Peace.